Have you ever wondered how much a film influences your attitudes, beliefs, and ideologies? Maybe a part of you has finished a film thinking, how could I save the planet today? Or maybe you've just felt more hopeless than you did before. The white sea of the planet. I recently found myself binging some political films. I set out to investigate exactly what it is that psychology says about how these types of films influence us. So what did I find? These are five key things that psychology says about how TV and films influence and shape us. Can you guess what each of these five are? Number one, political dramas use the behavioral science principle of framing. The behavioral science principle of framing is simple enough. This is when our decisions are shaped purely by the way in which information is presented to us. This can take a number of forms, but for example, that low fat food you buy, it isn't called 5% fat because psychologically it works better to call it 95% fat free. See, this is what I'm talking about. Films also use the framing of topics to influence us. One study out of the many published on this topic looked into exactly what happened when people watched a feature length film about one, abortion, framed in a pro-choice manner, and two, morality, framed as something that should involve following your own conscience. How did that affect how people viewed these topics? Well, you guessed it. They were significantly more likely to positively favor each of these viewpoints after watching the film. Number two, political dramas aim to make you more cynical. Ever walked away from a show or a movie feeling even more skeptical or cynical about your government or politicians? There's a reason why. Psychology researchers have, in fact, looked at the influence that shows such as House of Cards and The West Wing have on people's opinions. The results? The more negative events in a political show or film, the more cynical our opinions of politics become. Negative characters? Not so much. This is because unlike reality drama, I'm looking at you, Love Island. Is Barcelona in Rome? Barcelona is in Italy. The events are based in realism. We usually know, to some extent, the political characters aren't real, but we feel like the events that we see in these shows and movies are based in some sense of realism. Number three, political dramas increase feelings of helplessness, uncertainty, and anger. Ever felt a little angry and then maybe a bit helpless after watching a film or a TV show with political themes? Most people do. Psychology researchers wanted to find out exactly why that is the case. They observed how participants reacted to and felt after watching the 1991 film JFK, which for those who have seen it, includes broad themes of conspiracy and theories about secret government power, which is basically the equivalent of a microscopic worm that starts eating your brain. Alongside a realistic narrative, it was in fact based on Jim Garrison, JFK's real life attorney. The results? People who watched it were, one, significantly more angry toward their government, two, more likely to believe a broad conspiracy theory of JFK's murder by the government, and three, this one's huge, people were less likely to vote or make political contributions. Why? The researchers suggest it comes from people's general feelings of helplessness. When we feel helpless, we tend to believe more extreme points of view in an attempt to rationalize our helplessness, and we take on more extreme actions to try and get some control back. Number four, people expect entertainment, not political persuasion, making them more susceptible. First things first, research on public opinion finds the potential for persuasion significantly higher when the recipient of the message does not expect it to be a persuasive one. We're perfectly right for influence, in other words, when we're watching entertaining films or TV shows with hidden persuasive messages in them. But some psychology researchers wanted to investigate this a little more. So what did they do? They wanted to specifically look at whether popular mainstream films would shift attitudes regardless of whether they had implicit or explicit political messages within them. They showed people one of three films, each with one of the following. One, no political messages. Two, implicit political messages. Three, explicit political messages. What did they find? Both films with either implicit or explicit messages, mainstream and popular, were able to persuade people's opinions. Because people didn't think they were being persuaded, they were, as a matter of fact, more likely to be persuaded. Number five, political dramas appeal to personality traits in an attempt to divide. If you hold a certain political view, psychology says you usually have certain defining personality traits. For example, if you're more conservative or more right-wing, you're more likely to favor order and certainty. If you're more 
more liberal or more left-wing, you're more likely to favour flexibility and openness. In any society, both of these are important and can, to some extent, work harmoniously together. But political dramas and politics in general focus in on these in an attempt to divide us. For example, a fascinating study by political psychology researchers wanted to look at how two politically oriented films would act differently upon a latent personality trait, which are essentially personality traits that somewhat lay dormant until activated in the right environment or triggered by a certain thing. That certain trait? Authoritarianism. Those two films? 300 and V for Vendetta. So what did the study find? People who watched 300 were more likely to have feelings of pro-authoritarianism activated. People who watched V for Vendetta, on the other hand, were more likely to have feelings of anti-authoritarianism activated. But what does that mean? This is where it gets really, really interesting and a little bit sinister. For those who watched 300 and had feelings of pro-authoritarianism activated, they were significantly more likely to one, say the US is better than most other countries, Two, be anti-protesters. Three, be anti-immigration. Four, be pro-military service as part of your citizenship. The findings for those who watched V for Vendetta, the complete statistical opposite. They say the company we keep shapes who we are, but it seems to be that the films we watch does the same thing. And think about what that looks like in social reality. For example, in the United States, where during Donald Trump's tenure, approval rating between Republicans was at 88%. Democrats, only 7%. What does that mean? Division. I hope you enjoyed this list of five key things that psychology says about how films, in particular political ones, shape and influence us. Let me know what you'd want to be- Let me know what you'd want to be- Hello darkness, my old friend. Let me know in the comments what you'd want to know about next. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, thank you.